the computers are different and here I am I have my my national party cup party nasciunta party nasciunta I have my O'Brien O'Brien moto I have the this ball here and I have the this is the uh, Italian luck I have the Italian luck I have the, the the rosary here from St. Patrick's and all that okay and then I have the the luck and all that so I'm just putting these things here so we show to everybody and then we try to really um keep it going and I'm I'm assembling this so you can see uh, there's a lot of things I like to talk about a lot of things first of all I am a member of the National Party for several reasons, okay? Nobody's perfect. I love all the enthusiasm that, that okay, but I, I, I have my shirt here. I'm not, I'm not wearing that now, but I can. I always have that in the office because sometimes you go to a meeting and then you have to leave it here. Okay, there you go. <laughs> but I do have also Finnafel. I'll explain my case with Finnafel. Is this here beautiful? See? It's a bottom. Uh, when I first moved to Ireland in 1916, uh, 2016, which was the 100th anniversary of the Republic, I I was a member of the of the I was a member of the of the uh, Finnafel. But uh, I was still testing the waters and knowing. Uh, I I love everything. I, one thing that I do love is everything related to to Brian Boru and. I do like all that and so um, the medieval times and, and things like that so <laughs> I want to do this but now not being filmed so if somebody wants to skip this just move the just move that in the bottle like fro forward and then you can make it short uh, there was about coffee okay I had the coffee Get coffee that I was preparing coffee, some coffee, and um, so I'm kind of selling the this showroom too because it is such a beautiful space. And one of the things that I have um, noticed in Ireland is that a lot of they're not. Um, I cannot blame Ireland, but a lot of times they are why uh, worldwide. They are from the whole world. And then, uh, because they're from the whole world, uh, they. Uh, but then you have the Irish version of this, okay? <coughs> <coughs> there are things that are all over the world. And then there is the Irish version. This is the Irish version of a problem that I see all over the world. I think it's related to the internet, because I believe what I'm doing right now, I should be doing face to face, and it'll be like a, a great Sunday evening. Uh, that'll be maybe 20 frames, 30 frames, and then <coughs> members or something. We'll just gather in a, in a local. Let's see, I would just call and say, everybody at the Patrick's Pub uh, on Sunday, at six, and everybody would show up, and you, I would talk, and somebody else would talk, and it, it'll be something that simple. And, but it's not anymore. It's not anymore. Like every time you want to do something uh, like a, like a this, is such a massive amount of work. Look, it's a mass a massive amount of work to invite friends for pizza. You want to have a pizza dinner, and you just like we're talking about maybe two to three days of internet, social media, science to get there. Okay. Because you need to explain the dress, you need to explain where is the pizza, you need to explain what flavors they have, you need to explain the, f the price of it, who is going, who is not going, send the photograph of it, send the Google location, send the Facebook location, send the WhatsApp location, send the live location, confirm. I had days, okay, this was the Freedom Party, which is another party that I've been flirting with, <laughs> can use a word, like a personal word like that, but... Uh, the Freedom Party for uh, her and Kelly. I went to that party a few, few meetings. I appreciate the invitations a lot. The same way, guys, I do hear all the complaints about um, Finnafel, okay? But I will never deny 
that I was a member of NFL in 2016. That was the first political party I was a member. And I do have not only one, but two. Because uh, when I went to this gathering, okay, which was a good gathering, okay, I, I, uh, they invited me for, um, for the, 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 the celebration. I was there, it was good. I mean, uh, I was an outsider, I went. Uh, if there is something, my personal scale, that I can say that it was a problem to me in my existence in Ireland, it's more related to uh, personal stuff, like person, okay? I, I was uh, robbed several times, uh, stealing, stolen, like, uh, like uh, stolen, <laughs> like this, <laughs> this video is coming just like the Irish way, like doing everything non-stop, non-stop, just like the weather, I talk, I move the, the video, I talk different languages, I, I wanted to, to say something in Irish again, because I like Irish, then just to finish the Irish, <laughs> I do a new introduction now that I'm, I'm fixed, and I'm having some, some coffee here, So, just do like here, so I switch off and then we start talking. Then I have to go topic by topic. One of them is like explain who I am. I think that one is something that I hope this is the last time I do this. Because every time somebody asks about my personal stuff, you know the basics, I will tell them, oh, go to this video on minute eight. <laughs> and the answers are there. And maybe on the comments there's some questions and you and you answer uh, and you get the rest of the questions done uh, <laughs> uh, some people call me uh, Brian Boru the 36th <laughs> the 36th like a 36 generations later because that was my my motto when I moved to to iron would be that I, I, I love Brian Boru I love King Brian Boru <laughs> I had no doubts that that uh, that, that my O'Brien <laughs> where my O'Brien comes from the O'Brien, the Brian Buru. Yeah, since I'm here, like I do, I do, I do like Brian Buru and everything that about Brian Buru. He, he's the best. I do not like that statue in Arma, uh, the one that his head is chopped it up. No, <laughs> don't like that. <laughs> but let me see. Let's say something here in Irish. Um, Go right my god as I agus I tavart time of skalte le had gaide aon hestana agus moltai so um, okay so let's start uh, number 1 okay uh, the reason that I'm sending this email okay this uh, it's an email it's uh, through a video and stuff is uh, first, uh, I talk a lot. I'm kind of broadcasting. Like every time I send a message to my friends, I send I send so many um, messages and stuff. And a lot of my friends they get confused. They don't know. They don't know much about me. I think I don't think almost anybody understands me. Like so. First, the reason for this email. Number one, uh, I am. I'm saying email because this is being distributed by the internet. So it's a correspondence that's through the internet. So it is a proper use of the term, okay? It's, it's through a video, but it's all the same, okay? So number one is that I am, I am, uh, I am going uh, to Argentina next weekend, and it's Christmas. I just came from the cathedral. Uh, I was at the cathedral uh, watching the uh, Christmas service, and uh, and. Um, it's so so it, it, yeah so it's, this is the Christmas um, message. Um, first, I would like to go uh, through. Uh, I'm not living in Ireland. Okay, I'm staying here. Okay, so let's first introduce myself. Okay, my name's Augustine Thomas. Those are my names. Uh, it is an Irish name. Uh, my godmother gave me this name. She was Irish. 
uh, my granny because um, uh, because she was my godmother. So when I was baptized, her opinion was very important, and everybody, obviously my mom, and it's the one who, who chose the name, uh, but uh, they showed they gave me a saint name like Saint Augustine, and that comes from Saint Augustine. It was a very important saint in Ireland and in England too. So there is a lot of Saint Augustine churches and streets like almost everywhere. Uh, Derry, for example, uh, it's it's that Saint Augustine is like the main chapel there, right there um, in the in the in the in the castle, right on top, where there was even attacks during the troubles. Where there, there's like a Saint Augustine church there, and I was there on Easter, and I was like, oh, hello, I'm, <laughs> I'm Augustine, it's Saint Augustine on the on the Easter day. Okay, so so that's that's the the, the name. When I was born, uh, as my family is Irish and Italian mixed. I have both. I have Italian and I have Irish. And uh, But when I was born, uh, my godmother was Irish and everybody in my family would take me as Irish, as a baby. Because I was very long and very short, very red. My color was, I was very red and long baby. And my eyes was almost blue, so they thought my eyes would be blue. Until when you were three, six months is when the eyes, they get dark. It's a very common thing, right? So my hair was also blonde. I'm just explaining this because I, I get this. Um, sometimes I get, I have to repeat this over and over again about if I'm Irish or I'm not Irish. I'm saying I am Irish by my family, uh, which is also the names is O'Brien and Hickey. They were the Irish names. Then there is a Herford and Jamie. Jamie is from... Uh, Brittany in French, but it's also Gaelic. So my grandmother's family, so I would call her Granny. And they would live in Ireland in a house called Elisa O'Brien, which is my great-grandmother's house. So when they built this house, it was called Elisa O'Brien. And this house is just like a townhouse, Tudor style, which you have several houses, several houses in, in Several houses in in in, in Dublin, in, in Belfast, but like several, There's several, especially in Belfast, more in Belfast, is this white townhouse, three stories, you know, with the brown, absolutely listed. So, I was I was I was I was raised I was raised um, in this uh, environment. So that's my mom, my uh, my dad, father's mom. So my father was raised uh, very Irish, and they would say British a lot of times because it still was very confusing to explain Ireland and Britain, Scotland, in Argentina, and but they were from Ireland, but they were working for the British because the railroads they would be working for the railroads and the railroads they were British railroads. So there is all this like anybody, okay, anybody who's Irish, British. There's always this British and Irish. Here in the island is more serious. Ireland here, United Kingdom there, the troubles, the war, the independence, okay? But internationally speaking, especially after one second, it's this past 100 years, it is very mixed outside the island of Ireland. So we were there, so you would just be part of the English speaking community. Uh, my grandmother, I would call her Granny in Spanish, Granny, La Granny. Everybody knows her in Argentina as La Granny, La Granny, like Granny, okay? So they don't know as Abuela. And, and the Italians would say the Nonina, La Nonina, which is my grandparents from Italy. Uh, my grandmother, she was an English teacher, so she would speak, he'd be teaching English all her life. So he was for like 60 years teaching English, or even more, maybe 70 years teaching English. And... She teach English to me too, to my brothers, everybody. That's why I speak English as a child, okay? Because I speak at home. Uh, my father speaks English. My 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 brothers speak English. My siblings, you know, so that I, like my aunt speak English, and if it's not perfect, but we still understand, even because Argentina speaks Spanish, okay? And uh, 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 but then she even taught taught uh, English uh, to to uh, Che Guevara Lynch. Because Che Guevara is from my hometown too, Rosario. Che Guevara is from the same hometown. On the famous Irish people in Argentina, the Che Guevara. So he, he's like me. He's mixed, but his case is Irish and Spanish. I am Irish and Italian. Uh, che Guevara is Irish and Spanish. And uh, 
so we, we kind of have this look. We have some um, Irish features, but then our hair is, is, is dark and then our eyes are Spanish, you know, so that's kind of a, uh, you'd, you'd have a lot of this mix also in the USA. In the, U, in the USA, in, in, in the USA, you have that in, in, in the USA, in, in, the, in, in, in the USA, there's so many in New York, in Florida, in Texas. In, in the USA, they call us a dark Irish. Oh, the dark Irish. It's kind of, uh, the Irish is a strong, I and mean, we're the dark version, the dark Irish. And then you have here the dark Irish with the limerick. <laughs> and this is limerick. Limerick. And, uh, so um, on this, so my grandmother, she teach English to Che Guevara in the 60s. She, she would go to his house. Uh, che, Guevara, che Guevara would be about the same age as my father. So she would be teaching uh, uh, to, to Che Guevara, his brothers, and all that, in Alta Gracia, in Cordoba, in their house. They have a house in Cordoba. And, and in Rosario, she would go to their house and be teaching English to everybody, you know, as a second language. She she would be used to be very proud about all the the, the the her students and their travels and everything and uh, so uh, on this okay so this is my background uh, as a child as a family okay so then I'm I'm raised uh, when I raised my father who is very Irish okay now I can say so he travels to he travels to uh, uh, Brazil. Because Argentina and Brazil is like France and Germany, or, or it's like the USA and Mexico, and so he went to Brazil uh, for, for, for business. So he moved there to 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 to, to work to work with uh, with uh, with uh, the, the, the 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 car industry, and he had a laboratory. My mom a distribution company. My father a laboratory. Okay. So he's working. Uh, and there, and we move. Uh, we're not going to live in Brazil forever. We're going to be there for just uh, five years. We end up staying forever. Uh, then my mom, she got cancer, and then uh, is when she passes away. She passed away when I was 16. So then my father stays in Brazil, and he remarries a Brazilian uh, girl. And um, so, uh, we, who is mostly, I'll, I'll call her Jewish, so my, my, she's Jewish, and, but my father is not. My father was raised uh, more like Church of Ireland would be the big mix, okay, because uh, they would be more Church of Ireland. Uh, my grandmother thinks she would be more Protestant Irish than, than Catholic Irish, um, even if they would go to Catholic, but it's very Protestant style. Uh, the Catholic on my family comes from my mom. My mom would be very Catholic, she's Italian, and my uh, grandmother too, my grandfather, they'll be Catholic on my, on my mom's side. On my father's side, on the Irish side, uh, they'll be more uh, Anglican, or I say Church of Ireland, because I like Church of Ireland, and, uh, and, and Anglican has different names, has uh, Episcopal, Episcopal, and so this, okay? Um, so on this, then we, we, I'm raised in Brazil, okay? So. I uh, just explaining why I am Irish, Italian, Argentinian and Brazilian. I have four roots. And then I live in the USA. Everybody who speaks English usually in Irish we relate a lot to the USA. So uh on my family from Ireland, uh my granny's family, she had relatives in Boston, the O'Briens they moved to Boston and then from Boston they moved to Argentina so she has family so I always know the existence of the United States through my grandmother and then I'm just explaining that I ha I, I was raised in an English speaking in environment so I, I, I was raised with a very um, notion about the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, everything, okay? I need to explain this all the time because otherwise it gets very confusing and that's why I use the name Augustine Thomas O'Brien Caceres because that saves me time on my work because when I'm working, because O'Brien is my grandmother's name, it's not on my legal name. But I use that all the time because I oh so that yes I, I saw I, I saw all of this comes just by my name because if I just put Caceres, I'll be they'll be going talking about things that I just don't know. Uh, that especially in the USA 
they would say things to me like, oh, I love burrito, I love bachata, I love salsa, I love merengue. And I was like, I just don't know that. It's, it's, <laughs> it's nothing against it. I just don't know what you're talking about. I, need, I learned burritos in the USA. I have never had burritos before. <laughs> <laughs> go to before go before being in America, you know. But in Ireland, I don't have that problem. Ireland is more of a short. In Dublin, there is some issues with younger uh, Dubliners. Uh, it's very strange. Older Dubliners uh, and that happened straight away as soon as I landed in in Ireland the first time. Older Irish people. They, they would say to me, oh, you're back home. <laughs> like, oh, you're back home. And I was like, uh, y yes, <laughs> it's the first time I'm here, but, but I heard that several times. Oh, you're back home. And like, and like wow, well, yes, like th three generations later, you know, to the 100 years later, you know, like, well, I'm back home, you know. And that was very interesting also, this this case, how, how, how that happened. And, this um, my discoveries, you know, in Dublin, Ireland, you know, like where the the birth certificate of my mom, the my my grandma, you know, like and and the, where the church is like uh, it's, it's all Irish. But younger Irish, you'll be like, but you're not Irish, you don't Irish. Like, not that's what I want to say. It's not it's a lot of things people blame on the foreigners, and they would say. Oh, because the Muslims in Ireland, because there's Indian guy, because I had that too, okay? I remember one day I was talking to, I was talking 2016, I was talking to a guy, and, and, and he was like, and, by his accent, and I travel all over the world, of sales, okay? And then this guy, so it's, it's just a common question, it's a small talk. So this guy, he's short, he's very dark, uh, he looks Indian or Pakistani, he has her as an accent that is speaking English like this in the speaking. So I just say, oh, hi, hi. It's okay, so where are you from? Orish. I'm Orish. I'm Orish. And I, no, I mean, well, where you born? Like, where, where is your parents? You know, like, Orish, actually, it's no, no good to ask. It's bad, bad to ask. A lot. Wow. The same thing, thing happens with Irish people, too. That uh, Irish, Irish, born, right? Because they're like, so I'm Irish, Argent. you don't look Irish, why is you Irish? And like, do I need to really, I do have red hair here, I do, in my beard. It, you can't see them because it, they're mixed and, and usually uh, uh, dark to take over. But there is some red hair and I never say I am Irish. I say I'm Irish, Argentinian, I'm Irish, Italian, I'm mixed. So... And I, I live, I mean, what I just tell is what I say, so I'm not really putting like a label, a, a label Irish or not Irish. It's just part of my story, okay? And I cannot deny that I'm Italian. Actually, my citizenship is Italian. I have two citizenships. I have Italian and Argentinian. In Ireland, I have a residential status in the USA and in Brazil as well. And uh, uh, but in Argentina and Italy, I'm just a full citizen, and I'm not. This is I, I may I can apply maybe in two years, one year, but still, I relate more to this simple life of the 90s before. There was a big over deeper conversations about these matters, and I don't think it would be a big problem like in the 80s, in the 90s, my case. They would just, oh, okay, you're back home, you're Irish, Italian, you know, like, it's not, um, I do speak, I, I, I learn Irish, I, I visit so many um, castles and things, I, I, I learn, I study Ireland, I, I went to the museum, I studied the Callum's book, I, so I, I do understand, I'm like, this, I'm part of this, um, uh, free movement of Irish people here and there. I can say one something. I can say I'm part of the Irish uh, diaspora. I am part of the Irish diaspora, which is the Irish people in all over the world. There's Irish people all over the, and we like this. Irish people. That's something that I believe relates to Ireland. Is that we are, we are very uh, like global. We are very international. Irish people. We are very international. It's uh, it's something that's on the on, on us. Like we. We are very interaction. We like to talk a lot. We like to talk a lot. When it's the ga the gift of the uh, the gab. Uh, I say the the gift of the gab challenge sometimes when there's so many Irish people together. There'll be we'll be talking for hours, for hours. 
my father, John Kennedy, uh, Brian Boru probably, um, Justin Borrett. Is this challenge like the last National Party meeting was gorgeous? Like there was so many good speakers. Uh, there was a girl. She was uh, so young, and she was like, "Wow." She was people like, "Wow." There was this guy that I gave him a lift one day, and I was, wow, I just get this, got these classes of Irish history and politics and like everything, and this guy's only like so young, 19 years old, and, and, and he knows a lot, and you, you know, and he knows how to, to explain and to talk and to express and to tell the story, you know, like it's, it's gorgeous, okay? Um, so. That's my case, okay, so, and then, so I am on this Irish-American, Irish-Italian, and I'm on this Irish-Argentinian uh, um, uh, version of, uh, would be like an Irish cousin, a cousin, is the American cousin, I do relate to those, okay, and then I have all the things about being half American, half European, you know, because then, uh, which would be the it, which is there are some differences. <laughs> we are all Westerns. The, we are we do belong to the Western world. Um, Australia as well. Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, all the American continent. Because even uh, even the tropics, you know, they're also very Westernized and everything. Um, the American continent is also a very confusing continent, an entire continent. Uh, I do sales uh, globally, and I do I have done have accounts that they were uh, to cover uh, the entire continent. Uh, and that also refers to my last name too, Caceres. Caceres it was a conquistador. My uh, so I have two very strong <laughs> last names. O'Brien is Brian Boru, the king, the high king of Ireland, and Caceres is uh, related to the monarchy, but he was uh, the conquistador. Uh, he was, uh, they were from Tuscany, Italy. The name was Candiotto, and they were hired by the Spanish monarchy, the Spanish crown, to colonize America. But they went to the Caribbean. At the same, he's from the same, Alonso Caceres was my great, 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 great grandfather. Okay, so he went to, from Spain to the Caribbean and then he had uh, at the same time as Cristofor Colombo and Americo Vespuzio uh, so he was not as imp well I think all of them were important I'm not sure if I do like a proper study about who made more or less I don't know if it, who were more successful because one thing that I don't see is that uh, that they were rich I'm not, I don't know about the wealth, but they were very hard working because they're the conquistadors. The conquistador is a bit like what I do. It's like it's it's a hunter because I, I, on the sales, international sales, that's what I do. I, I travel and I discover and I find something new and I explore. So that's the same thing that old Brian Boru will be doing, the same thing that, that Alonso Caceres will be doing. Okay, and I do that I, my, myself too, like a... 100 generations later, 30, 30 generations, so 15 generations later, I do the same thing. So, so he would go to uh, America and then to explore and uh, uh, working for the Spanish crown. And then is all the history of America that I can talk about that uh, on a very neutral uh, aspect. I, I do talk very neutral. I do talk very neutral. I I I I, I don't talk. Uh, I don't talk uh, um, provoking war between parties. I talk. I talk trying to put everybody together. I, I sometimes I think I am like a a politician on that aspect. I am a politician on that aspect. I'm sorry that I'm doing all of this, but it's because I've been so busy because I. Like that's a, a problem that I have, which is um, I have to do like everything. It's been a very challenge, and I believe this is uh, of the times we're living in history. It's been very, very difficult to uh, to, to 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 work. You know, like it's it's to 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 to, to make teams, to 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 do uh, groups. There's way too much individualism. There's way too much, too much, um, 
materialism and individualism, okay? Uh, uh, sorry, my accent, sometimes it sounds so funny. Well, materialism and individualism, it's all over the place. It's the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the horror show of the Western world nowadays. It's the horror show. And I tell you one thing, like uh, whoever is watching here, like you have to talk about your problems first, okay? So you talk about your problems first, you talk about what you do wrong first, and then we go talk and complain about everybody. But, and then I tell you, there's so much individualism and materialism nowadays that even if I mention, for example, this, we need to talk about our problems first before complaining about 3,000 Indians coming to Ireland and do a work that Irish people is not doing. And then somebody is going to say, Oh, you are trying to protect the Indians. So you are a fraud. I had that. Oh my God, I did. I did have that. Yeah, I was a traitor. He's a traitor! Somebody was yelling on the street saying that about me to a lot of different people. Saying that I'm a traitor. And I was like, oh my God. Okay? Uh, I understand that as materialism and individualism. There's so much individualism that you cannot even talk about topics because it gets... It's not understood because that's I haven't been saying this in, in meetings too. Okay, uh, you need to prepare the terrain first. Uh, the terrain is very rough and is very raw. It's very dry. It's hard to be planting seeds of prosperity and peace and and good things. And but nothing's growing. It's actually these seeds are being eaten by insects. And at the end, you have no seeds. The, the, the insects that keep eating it. Do, do, do you understand that? Sometimes they say that kick the snakes out of the country and all that. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry, I kind of going and making a big salad of this, but I believe that's also Ireland. <laughs> Ireland, you try to be logic and be, but then everything goes. I think it's very like the weather again. <laughs> it's very like the weather. I love it. I, I love it. But we do need to have some sort of organization. We need, we need to have a line of conduct. We need to have uh, some um, peace and perseverance that we can understand the things they last long. The things they you need. It's a matter of time. It's like uh, there are some uh, plants that uh, the things like uh, oranges. If you want to eat oranges, an orange. For you, since you plant, the tree grows, and the whole thing. We're talking five years. That's life. I am 43, so 43 years of life, and I'm still here. You know, doing, you know, eating, working, um, doing what I do. So, uh, th this immediate, this urgency, this um, individualism, these things like, you know, what I, 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 I want to drink coffee right now, so I'm just going to drink coffee. Because that's something that it's only only matters for me and like so so that that makes things very hard because it's all this competition that the end everybody loses. So by the time that you put everybody together and everybody's understanding a common point, and again, a common point does not mean you have no individual individuality. It does not mean you still can be yourself. You still can have your secrets. You still can be your own thing. But you need to connect with a team at some point. And I have noticed that uh, and this team does not need to refer to a company, to a business, to something temporary. Because economical activities, okay, when you work for a company, okay, and I have my company too, so when you work for a company, there is an economic reason, the economy. We w we're doing this because we want prosperity. So we're working on together because we're going to put this together, this work. And that guy is very good on communications. That guy is very good on manufacturing. That guy is very good on, on artwork. That guy is very good on on, on uh, um, what else? Like so, so on accounting. So. Another guy is very good on legal matters, for example. And so, to put together, they do what they know, the talent, and what they gift to do. And then, at the end, there is a result, 
and we share. It does not matter if the, con the contract was done there, if the payment was here. The person who explained to somebody was another guy who is not the one who made the contract. That's not important enough. So I'll be managing all of that, but there is some sort of uh, a peace in union that has to exist. And that has been very difficult because you cannot even manage to build that on a personal level, imagine on a company level. Um, the only things that I, 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 but I believe, I, again, this is not a personal problem. This is something I've been seeing all over the world, okay? And I believe the number one reason is that this unification has been downsized to corporate names like Apple. Oh, I buy Apple, so I belong to the world of Apple. But what's the world of fucking Apple? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, but what's the world of that? It's just a fun. But it's the same thing. My company, my company name is Ellie Group, and I'm going to bring the 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 sign. So I have the sign of Ellie Group here. It's like you, that things. You, I don't I don't do this. What do you do? I work for Ellie Group. No, you are an accountant. No, you are a, an attorney. No, you are on. Uh, uh, I work for Ellie Group. No, no, I don't do this. That's brainwash because I like to pay. I like to pay and I like to pay well. Uh, I, I do like, I'm a good payer. I, I like to pay. And when I say pay, sometimes it do not, does not even mean uh, a check. It means a lot of things. A lot of things like this video. Now maybe I feel like I'm teaching things and then I feel like uh, I'm even uh, 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 already paying something. I'm paying something, uh, educating, explaining, and uh, the travels, you know, like everybody likes to travel, and then they, they travel, you pay the ticket, it's like, you are already getting a compensation. It's, it's not only uh, the figures that you are going to, to, to make, it's a lot of things, it's a whole thing, but I don't want anybody saying, what do you do? I work for Ellie Group. No, I mean, what do you do? Oh, I'm an engineer, I'm a technician, I'm a doctor. Does anybody understand what I'm saying? But these things, they became very, like, materialistic. And then you have this thing that, um, uh, oh, I'm not part of Apple, I'm nobody. I'm not part of Facebook, I'm nobody. I'm not part of Google, I'm nobody. And so, who are you? That's my question, but, but who are you? But then on this level, this aspect has been very complicated, very difficult. And that's what I see on almost every, um, every um, situation I've been exposed. And sometimes I feel in Ireland even more than other countries. And so we need to fight that because that's not something good. And I believe that's why all these complaints, because one thing is that there's so many people complaining. And I see that in Europe, I see that in Italy. Complaints, 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 and I am like, why so much, so many complaints? Why so many complaints? Why everybody's complaining? Because you come and you see this is good, this is good. There's so many good things, and even when I explain good things, I like, no, this is not a good thing. Why are you saying good things? Why are you saying this is good? It's because you have some interest for yourself, you know, like. No, I'm not. I'm just saying it's good because I'm, I'm enjoying I can see the group making things good. So, so maybe I can see that because I was raised in Brazil and I know uh, what's the problem when you have so many problems in the group and you get affected. Brazil is definitely in very bad shape for so many years. Uh, Brazil is very, very bad, unfortunately. Okay, so... So when I come to Ireland, and you do see a lot of good things, and then you try to express these good things, and they're like, but then you have this pessimism, and then you have the problem nowadays that uh, we're dying, that uh, that we may may die uh, in 20, 30 years, that um, Europe will be just like Brazil, that the way that's why everybody's so scared, because everything will be we, we are experiencing and and seeing. In, in the economy, in the culture, and everywhere, is that things are getting uh, worse. Uh, so, and that's why 
uh, not only me, but so many are involved on uh, politics because we want to really uh, try to do something. So everybody who is involved in politics, uh, no matter what sort of politics, you are already trying to do something for your country. You're already trying to be involved. And that's good. That's very good. Uh, again, uh, the reaction of those in power, it's no good. <laughs> I do not. I'm sorry, but I do not. I do not uh, accept. I think was was very bad. Was very bad. I I I, I don't really uh, relate to the way uh, I don't really. Um, when I came first to, uh, so I was very innocent and about Europe as well, and and then being here is like, wow, Ireland is very rough. And when I say Ireland, I'm saying the 19, uh, 2019. Now, 2019, it is a, a, it is rough, but very rough. Um, a lot of times we don't get we get used to it and we don't see it. And but I feel a bit of peace to stay in the weight of the country for two months. It's like you know what, uh, uh, it's more peaceful there. I tell you, the USA, okay, uh, the USA. Uh, seems way more aggressive and violent from the outside than in the USA. In the USA, it's not that violent. It's a bit peaceful. It's peaceful. I mean, it's, I would say classify America as more peaceful than violent on a daily basis. On a daily basis, everybody's very into work, 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 work. Uh, America is very like business, work, work, work. So everybody's working and there is some sort of a of a common understanding between everybody in the USA, even when you go into politics and something specific, you see all the endless. Uh, but still, it's like it's it's it's, it's when you're there. Once you leave the office, everybody just shuts down. So <laughs> they go to work and dispute, and then they go they go to their life and they just don't even think want to think about it. You know, like uh, in 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 Europe is more genuine. Everybody is more genuine. They're more intense. They're not only saying the things of they do they are what they say which i like okay i like and so um so i think i uh, i have introduced who i am i have already introduced about my general um politics and things in ireland uh number uh to my work uh what i do international sales i do that for 26 years so that's why parlo italiano falo português Parle français, je spreche deutsch, espagnol, hablo espagnol, à salam alaikum, au concrap. So I speak different languages, okay? I do business all over the world and I do that for like several years. Uh, I do uh, all over the world for maybe, uh, for maybe 20 years now, okay? So I, uh, so I have all this international background and that's what I do the most. So I travel all over the world selling. Uh, then I was in the USA. Uh, and that's where I started my, my, my business. And then I transferred this business to Ireland following the same logic as all the corporations did. So I'm a corporation myself too. I thought I would follow them. It would be just normal. I was not expecting uh, some problems that I just ex I find and learned about them while I was here. I thought that Ireland would be a bit more civilized and then being here, I am so sorry if somebody feels, oh, Gustin is saying that Ireland is not civilized. Look, I'm sorry, but uh, if you really put it on the papers, like it's, it's not, okay? Uh, because um, you have all the looks, you have all this, the manners, the dress, so, it does look very civilized, okay. And when you when you in Ireland um, superficially, but then once you really doing things, it's like wow, it's not. It's like I need to really go fight to somebody to get this done. And the homeless is one is an example. I am sorry, who's running this country or not? I do respect all the protesters, but still. 
That's not a difficult task. The homeless in Ireland, a country that had no, no homeless people like 20 years ago, and now there's all these homeless people because there's homeless people. I, 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 I know them. I mean, the Dublin city center so often. I give food to them. I can't lie, but several times, several times in Temple Bar Street. I love Temple Bar Street. I go to Temple Bar. My great grand uncle was baptized in Temple Bar Street. <laughs> there was a church in Temple Bar Street. <laughs> he was baptized there. I even bought a bought a pencil there, like <laughs> where his name was. Uh, Patrick Joseph O'Brien, he was baptized on June 2nd, and June 2nd is my birthday. <laughs> so he had, and then when I found this paper, I was like, oh, he was baptized, and he's like, right in Temple Bar, <laughs> and the street, it's at the bottom. There's a theater now that, that used to be a, that used to be a church, the first Catholic church of Ireland, and, and that's where he was baptized about 120 years ago. And and so I, I love it. And then when I go, and I always I, I, I buy you know buy cookies and stuff, and I, I just give them to the to the homeless. And I see a lot of Irish people do that. Irish usually you see Irish people they do that. Uh, tourists sometimes they just pass by because maybe they're so used to homeless. Like Brazilians are homeless people like everywhere, so they just don't care. Uh, America there's so many homeless too. But but sometimes but but Irish I see I see some Irish. But I've seen that in Belfast too that. Irish people, they'll be, they'll be there, they'll be chatting to the homeless, they'll sit down, they'll be con having a conversation with them, bringing in a cup of tea and stuff. But still, it's not. And then when you walk around, there's so many spaces available, and you're like, why is it so complicated to just give this them like a shelter or something organized uh, to, to, to live? Um, but then I have things in my personal case too, like... Uh, uh, I had a problem uh, about two years ago that I was driving. It was a crazy night. I was with a friend. This friend disappears, and then I'm like, I'm I'm stuck with my own my own car uh, by myself. And this guy was gone, and I couldn't find him. I was angry, and I was like, it was like two in the morning. I went to watch the Super Bowl game. That was February 2017. February 2018. February 2018. So uh, the police stops me, and then I, I have the the, the breath um, test, and the, the breath test. The thing is that it was uh, was just a little bit over, a little bit over. Uh, was not bad, and I stopped. Was very peaceful, so everything was okay. They took, but unfortunately, was the the milligrams was like forty four, I guess. So it's still like the minimum, but she's still on top. So I had to go to court. And then I go to court in, in the Dublin, uh, the criminal justice, and then I'm there, and then I go. I'm not questioning the the charges. Uh, they suspended my license for two years, and I, uh, 750 euro fine. I think that's a lot. Two years is a lot. But still, the fact of the problem I had that I drove, that the so the, and then that they suspended my license and this, I still find that all right. What I do not understand is the two-year gap between when that happened and when I got the sentence. It's like there is this two-year, which I love the the courthouse, uh, the judge. I love the care. I see all the general care about everybody's there. Like you, you, you see that in Ireland, there is like a general care between everybody. Like. And uh, but it's more subconscious, you know. And then when you really try to put things on paper, it's like, oh, I have to come back in three months. Oh no, maybe in three months. Oh no, maybe one month. So I, I went to to hearing like so many times. I even got like a bench warranty one day because I couldn't go to one of the hearings. So I asked to move my hearing. They didn't. So I had to go to a bench warranty. So I was arrested for uh, one two hours, uh, I believe, uh, to go to court. And they do. But this whole thing is like. <coughs> It's a bit going back to the homeless. It's like, why so complicated? Why so confusing? Why this, uh, this um, you know, something that I remember that I have only seen in Ireland is that I saw uh, on the sky was sun, rain, and snow. The three. You know, I was living swords, and I saw the three at the same time. And and that maybe explains why there's so much, you know, the weather, you're driving and then like, 
it's uh, it's wind and then it's sun and then it's raining and then there's a snowstorm you know and like and then there's a hurricane in america and everybody's talking about the hurricane here you know like so maybe it changes and i i, I do like the weather and also i like also the, the 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 in the summer i think the summers are so good because you have like three days in one day because you have from six in the morning to midday it's maybe cloudy and then from midday to be to six will be raining and then from six to to ten you know that would be more so it's like six six hours you know totally different than the six hours there'll be sun and warm and blue sky and then i'll go to the beach uh in malahide i used to go to the beach often in malahide uh when i was living in dublin <laughs> so so uh okay so uh so this is maybe you know why things get so complicated and then it's like this is a bit too rough what's wrong you know what's wrong what's going wrong why why so rough things could be easier okay and i relate to a lot of problems in all the western world that's also something that i like to explain is like um there are advantages and disadvantages of being raised as an european minority in South Africa, Argentina, or Brazil. Why? Uh, most of uh, Westerns, okay, Western European or white people, these three names, they kind of mean the same. Usually, we, we only talk about America, Canada, and Europe. Australia, too. Uh, New Zealand's there, too, but that's all we talk about. But we never talk about South Africa, Argentina, and South Brazil uh maybe because it's mixed i do not know really why uh but we all everybody knows that argentinians are white south africans and south brazilians are all white so there is uh, about maybe 100 million uh people of european descent or white descent you know when you say white maybe asians are white too okay so let's just say european okay uh so uh but South America is predominantly uh, Hispanic and Africa is predominantly African. Uh, what's Hispanic? Hispanic is, uh, is uh, they don't say Spanish, they say Hispanic. It's a term that was created in American English to give a name to this new population formed in the tropics, which means North Brazil, California, uh, Miami, uh, Texas, uh, Mexico, uh, Peru, uh, Panama, Bolivia, like, which is a population that they have a very different history from most of Europeans. But that's another co another conversation. But they usually are mixed of southern Spain, like Andalusia. That's why they're very short, usually very dark, because. They are from the south, of Spain, so they have a strong like Arabic and Jewish uh, roots, like Sephardi Jewish and uh, Muslim Arabic. Uh, that's why the names Alvarez, Al, 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 Alfonso. So the, there are names that they are all uh, that comes from the Arabic. And the south of Spain is very Arabic, and in the Mediterranean usually you have the Jewish Sephardi and the Muslims. They would be the typical uh, Mediterranean people. And they come from Israel, they come from Libya, they come from Morocco, they come from Andalusia, they come like uh, Sicily in Italy. So this po all this population, Lebanon, they have all this thing about trade. They're very strong on trade. And, and, and so they are the most important uh, people from the old world that moved to the tropics in America. There, they hired the slaves the same way they do in they did in Egypt. Uh, they do uh, in you know like in Africa. So they would be bring all the slaves from Africa to work for them, and then there would be the na native, the, the indigenous people in America. They would be treated as slaves. Uh, most of all, then they they were killed. They died. The number one reason was because they were not that a lot of people. They were about only three million. All America was only three million. And another reason was diseases. 
as soon as the Europeans went to, and the Africans too, when they went to, to America, uh, most all the Native Americans, the indigenous population, they, 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 they got intoxicated with uh, viruses and bacteria. They would get a flu and die. So they just die because they, they were virgin. They were living in the forest. It was all beautiful, the, 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 um, the nature, how they were in that time. But it's history. That's how it happened. They, they, the, the, the barbaric Europeans, they go, they show up, and then, um, and then they end up with the trade and everything, and then they end up just killing everybody there. And there were wars, and that's another conversation, that's a long conversation. But anyways, just explain that that's an exploitation colony. The tropical America is an exploitation colony. And then you have the cold parts, which is... South Africa relates to these two, Argentina, South Brazil, Canada, and northern part of the USA. That were very cold, they were not colonized, and then with the independence is when a lot of Europeans, they move. But it's a total different reality. Like my family from Ireland, from Italy, they moved to, uh, uh, to uh, Ar Argentina and to the USA to work as a family, the entire family was immigrants, they just moved there to settle down, like they were not, they were not, it's not a, it was not much of a business enterprise, they were just moving, the same way Europeans moved to Canada and to Australia nowadays, but that was 200, 300 years ago, but that kind of explains why in America you have the exploitation colonies and the population, the sat settling colonies, so settling and exploitation, so the tropical, which is the Hispanics now, they come from a total different background, it's a total different culture, which is predominantly Jewish. It's, predominantly, it's more Jewish than Muslim. So, they live on uh, Old Testament, uh, they don't believe in empathy, uh, they, they need uh, objects of status, they're still in the old Israel, of 2,000 years ago, they're still stuck to that reality of Israel in 2,000 years ago, but they just changed languages. And I wrote a, an email, this is another topic, too, I'm covering a lot of topics here. Uh, I wrote an email to a, a, a rabbi, okay, because I, I, I do all these studies and I try to really do my work and I, I talk a lot about the Jewish community because I come from America and now in Dublin, Dublin is so Jewish nowadays that's like we need to understand the Jewish community to do business. And then, and then uh, when uh, I, I wrote, because this uh, video was a, a rabbi, that he has a critical view about the Jewish community, especially in the USA and in Dublin. Okay, so he talks about how the Jewish uh, Irish in Dublin, how the Jewish Americans, they, but he, he does not mention countries, but I know he's talking about, uh, I mean, he, he does talk, and then, but then he, he, he's explaining like why, um, why, uh, that they're not Jewish, that, that the, those who follow Torah, those who go to the temple, they do have a certain criteria. But then, once they leave Judaism and they are uh, in this, uh, like a pagan version, or maybe pagan, I don't know, like, like uh, they're, not, they're not following the organized uh, temple, church, and the faith, they end up mixing and they are not... They end up not being Christian. They're not. They're not. They're not Jewish, and they're like uh, like churchless. <laughs> like they have the homeless and the churchless. Uh, but uh, I wrote to him saying, "Look, can we talk or something? Because I believe we look like to maybe you could help us in order to work with this community. Because we want to do business. We want to prosper. We want to get our problems solved." Maybe like the homeless in Dublin, which everybody's talking about. But I believe there's way more problems than the homeless. Homeless and other refugees are symptoms that are visible, but they're not the disease. Okay? They're symptoms. Is when you see a scarf here, it's I it doesn't I don't like it. But it's like wow, you have I'm sorry, you have cancer. But this is what you're trying to cover that, you know, and and, 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 and but still you're going to die in five years. And the Western civilization is going to die in twenty, thirty years. So all these refugees coming from everywhere 
all the the homeless this whole thing that nobody's understand drugs like everywhere like in toxic people doing intoxicated young and they're injecting drugs and like there's are symbols there are examples of a dying that's like the, i mean there's a cancer that needs to be taken care of it's not just doing the the makeup it, there's a cancer there that's that's a problem it's a big problem and so um but then going back to the jewish community uh uh, and I had that also in Florida because I lived in Florida. Okay, my company in America is in Florida. I'm based in Florida. Okay, and Florida and Ireland. Uh, most of all the other companies in 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 uh, Dublin, they're based in California. Like I'm based in Florida, so I'm totally different from California. Even we relate on some things. Okay, so uh, this uh, this this case. Okay, he. Uh, he said the same reaction all the Jewish community does. He says, like, they're not Jewish anymore just because they're not in the temple. I mean, Christians don't do that. Europeans, we don't do that. Muslims don't do that. Uh, but this is only the Jewish community does that. Because if somebody does not go to church, it, it, I'm, I'm sorry if somebody may disagree with me, but most of all the religions in the world, if you say, this Christian is doing something crazy there. I am not like I, I, a priest will never say, "Oh, I'm sorry, but he's he's not coming to the church." I have nothing to do with that. No, we would say that. Uh, oh, if you're sorry for that, maybe it's not the fault of the church that he he's not coming. It, but we wouldn't do that. It, you see that with the homeless in, in, in Dublin, why they have some sort of care. Because the other Christians or Europeans, they'll be there and do something for them. Because I feel like I, I feel related. Like I say, oh, I'm sorry about this man. You know, like he's there. He's like, and I could see myself there. And I'm like, wow, what happens? But I don't know. It's cold. I I, I just had uh, drinks uh, in, in in the bars. I just spent like 20 euro. I had like four pints, and you just go through a a a, a, a shop, and there is like all this food. There is only. It's only uh, two pounds. I get like uh, some some cereal bars, some flapjacks, you know. And then I just give to them. I even I give to the birds too. <laughs> I give to the birds. I like to give to the birds. I leave them on the leafy river. I like to see all the seagulls flying and, and fish and all that. Sometimes I, <laughs> you don't want to see me drunk <laughs> on the leafy river. Like I, I'll just get some pieces of brown bread and I'll be like throwing them. And then and then it's funny that I was reading about about Brian Buru. And Brian Buru used to do this too. My father does that too. And I like, maybe, maybe that's an O'Brien thing. Like, you know, like, because uh, he, he, I was, I read about Brian Buru. He says that when he was a child, he would be, he would be uh, throwing rocks on the water. Like, I do that. My father does that. Like, <laughs> we just like to throw things and, and, and I don't know. And then we throw, and I, I find that so fantastic. <laughs> I throw back balls, and I throw, and I see that the, the seagulls they, they fly and they boom, and they eat it on on the on the on the air. You know, <laughs> I find that that gorgeous. Something. Uh, uh, let's talk about something fun, okay? Like Brian Baru, Brian Baru, where are you? Brian Baru, come back, come back, okay? This is the O'Brien, the O'Brien uh, motor lock, lock lean yar. This is the this one. It's the two lions. The two lions of Brian Buru. And um, uh, so, oh, Brian means son of Brian Buru. Um, Brian means, uh, from, in Irish, means high. It means high. So, Rian is a hill, so it's high. So, that's why the name uh, comes from, because it's, and because that's why Brian was created. And um, so, so, when I, um, when I was raised, I, I would ask everything to my grannies, whatever. So I, I knew a lot of Ireland as a child, okay? Because I, I would ask everything to my granny. I would be those annoying, perfect child that would be asking, Granny, by Ireland, you write Ireland with a uh, double R or one air? You know, why say Ireland and don't say Ireland? You know, like, if you explain to me. I want to know, and I'm taking notes, you know? I used to even have glasses, okay? <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then so I'll know everything. And then she was talking me about the king. There was a king, but that's about it. Not that we we, we in America we, we, that would that's something that everybody's been saying is that everybody's Irish now in America, and it's true. Uh, and until the nineties, 
because I'm 43, I would say until 2005 or six, I would be Argentinian American. We would have our roots. Uh, we know Irish or Italian. Uh, somebody else would be Spanish, French, or French Portuguese or German Czechoslovakian. You know, like, but it wouldn't be. It'd be okay with the St. Patrick's, but. But since 2005, now something new in this millennium that it became very important. So we now talk about about everything, Ireland and things. So now I'm going back to America. They will ask me questions about Ireland. So I'll be, I have the, the, the shamrock here, you know, like I'll explain and everything. So, but it wasn't this popular. Like now I feel more like I'm the Irish diaspora than American or Argentinian. And uh, maybe it's a reflection of the globalization, like globalization made uh, all this mix of everything that uh, made kind of uh, feelings like who you are become pop up. And maybe that's why the mother, uh, Ireland is a motherland for the Irish people, but it's also more important maybe now than 20 years ago. Uh, we would just take it for granted. Now it's kind of becoming more important. Okay, but then on, uh, so then on these uh, Irish studies, okay, when I came back, it was a very good uh, experience uh, that I really, uh, uh, somebody from Ireland born would not experience, but when you are like me, somebody who's for two generations overseas, and usually for Irish Americans, Irish Italians, Argentinians, like it happens when you come to Europe, it, it is part of a family mission. Everybody has to one day at least come in his life to come to Europe to visit the, where their family comes from and everything. And uh, the architecture, because we reproduced all of this overseas, okay, like Australia and Argentina, like you have places that St. Patrick's School, so like, so we come back. And uh, I have all this, like the first thing that, that caught my attention was a Dublin airport that Argus, because I saw there were all the signs, you know, Argus, Argus, Argus. Uh, even my, my, I learned some Irish here in Belfast, and the, the teacher is just telling this to other people that when I came here, it was Argus, Argus, because uh, that's the first word I learned from Gaelic. Um, uh, I studied something before coming here, but, but through YouTube or something, but then when I saw Argus everywhere at the airport, I was like, Oh, that's my nickname. <laughs> that's my nickname. That my nickname all over all my life was Agus, 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 because ah, Augustine, Agus, Agus, A G U S, and then, and then it's all I say, Agus, 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 Agus. And there was a sign about the Zika virus in 2016. There was this huge sign with everything in Irish and Agus right in the middle. And I took a photograph of that. I was sending to all my relatives and my friends in America and Argentina, like. Look at that, that's Agus like all over the place. Um, there was something like uh, these uh, coincidences that were interesting. Um, before that, in 2014, I was flying from Dubai to Chicago and the plane went through Ireland and then the pilot said something, oh, we're we, we flying over Ireland. And, I was, and then I saw Ireland for the first time um, in the real world. And, I, I even cried. I was like, oh, I, don't I was so so. It's this energy here, the Celtic energy. I don't know New Grange. When you go to New Grange, uh, to also in New Grange near Dublin, in Norfolk, Dublin, uh, the other all the Celtic rooms. It's like there's something that's like something. If you feel this energy, like I have long arms, you see, which is something that's very common from here. I'm six five. It's something common from here. I felt all this energy like that you feel like you I felt like I, I did I, I did not even know much that lions were the symbol of Prime Buru and I, I felt like a lion coming going back to the savannah like like oh I'm back to my 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 environment and then you you, you feel the breath and the atmosphere or something that I feel here like standing taller I feel like uh, I don't feel cold here. Like I feel I adapt to the weather. Uh, things like my hair seems 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 uh, perfect for this weather. Uh, it, 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 like my skin, I don't need to be covering me all the time. Like in in in, in Florida, I'll be full of uh, lotion and stuff all the time. I don't find natural all that. 
I, lo I love the sun, uh, to, but I don't find it natural to have the sun as it is in Florida, like 24 seven. Like uh, I feel like I'm, because it's all the time and it's from everywhere. So it's, and it's, it's a lot of sun. So, so it's just explaining like uh, animal instincts, you know, then when you have like, and then the colors, you know, Irish people use a lot of, uh, a lot of this blue, you know, like blue, the yellow too, the greens, so like, oh, these are also the colors I like. Uh, and I see the Dublin bus and the, the, the colors and then I read the language. I, I had from day one this tendency to read Irish first, not English. I will read the Irish, so I'll be doing And then I believe the first biggest uh, interaction was again uh, this Fianna Fáil, uh, uh event, the 100th anniversary that I was invited. And uh, it was a beautiful event. Uh, it lasted about two, three hours. Uh, uh, it was the the anniversary at uh, the Round Theater in in Dublin uh, near Grafton Street, and um, so I did not even know anybody. <laughs> and I was there, and like, and I don't. Need, I think the Tyler Zach was there. The Prime Minister, famous Irish people, and I'm I feel very <laughs> sorry that I didn't. I was just watching, and 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 I didn't know, but I sent to them the photograph and all that. But that so. But then I watched the presentation they did there for the one. It was all in Irish. It was very well done. Very well done. And I have, wow, this, this language feels like it's talking to your subconscious or something. It's, it's like it's subconscious. Like, a, like you feel like you, would, you it, it transports you to like a different time. And then studying, it does. When you study, it's like it, uh, it, trans it, it, like it makes you feel like a, 500 years ago, 1,000 years ago, they're right just around the corner. There's nothing. That's my main idea with Irish language is that, is that we're in this world for 6 million years. So 1,000 years is like one week. <laughs> it's, it's not. We like, we, we, our formation as, a, as people, you know, like it's not, it was not created like yesterday, tomorrow. It's, it comes from thousands of years. And, and there, then that's when you go to New Grange and you see all the the the, the rictos and the whole things like and how they transport all these big rocks and all that. So it's like it is. I, I find it fascinating. So so then I have all this connection, and then I kind of I adapted very quick, very quick, and I end up living in Dublin Eight. Uh, then I was find the records from my grandmother parents. And then when I find, and that took six months or something that's not easy, but by myself I had to travel work, pay rent and go and come and go and do a lot of things and then go. And these documents to find are not, that I thought they would be easy, but Eliza O'Brien, Patrick O'Brien, there's like thousands of, everybody would be called Eliza O'Brien, Christina O'Brien, uh, Mary O'Brien, like uh, there are uh, <laughs> the records about how they moved to, to to uh to america you know like there's so many like okay so and that one day was funny i was in near christchurch and then but that's okay let's go by step and then uh and then i i, I have this i'm dublin eight i'm going to christchurch which is the church there in dublin eight and i'm living that my first office was by far four courts so that's what i was for like six months and and uh and then I start to, to, to find out, and then I find where my uh, great grand like I, I was trying to find my great grandmother uh, birth certificate, and they call me for the registered office that they found my uncle, okay, the same parents, and then my uncle, okay, and then I find, like they send, okay, send that to me, his birth certificate. That's why the first uh, 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 astonishing, like, he was baptized on my birthday, June 2nd, Joe's Patrick O'Brien, and he was from Dublin 8 right in across from cross church and i was like wow i was already existing in this area i was living in this area i was going to christ church and this guy and he this uncle was baptized but not in christ church he was baptized at this catholic uh, church which is by temple bar and then uh streets they have saint 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 anthony's and saint michael's church now it's a theater and uh, it was a theater, was converted to a church and then converted back to a theater like 20 years ago. So, and then I'm starting to try to find the other documents and then I am, uh, I find the register office in different, near um, Trinity College and then I go to the other 
uh, one which is the main register office which is by Christ Church and then I'm there and they say where was your because I was trying to find my great-grandmother because she was the mom of my granny and then and then and then I I I, I uh, they, they they say um, they ask, well, where was she born? Here. <laughs> because Hardcore Street, Hardcore Street, Hatchcourt Street, it's a, it's a street right in front of Christchurch, it's a little cut there. That, that's where he was born. And, and, and then, like, Dublin, too. And then, like, and then, and then just like, where is he born? Right here. <laughs> like, here. <laughs> this building, or maybe the building next door. You know, they're not there anymore, they're all demolished. But, but then I go, as I so many. But then I end up finding it through other documents and then was through church. And then it happens that my great grandmother was born in Pimelico, Pimelico Road, number 40. And that's uh, right across from Guinness Beer. And then as I, and I was right, the same area I was living. And Pimelico, it was very poor, it's still a bit poor, you know, it's getting much better now. but. Uh, the liberties not that so obviously i can that family uh they they downsize they, i think they were fine when they were living by christ church but then they, they with all the problems they they became m more poor they moved to pimelico and then to pimelico to the usa and there were eight siblings uh four remained the usa four went to argentina and uh and then uh um and but the house was fine because it's a it's a townhouse there it was a townhouse and okay and there are O'Briens still in the area uh there was somebody still O'Brien living there like 10 years ago I went one day asking okay it was it was very cool everybody my family in Argentina they, they all like to, to hear all these stories and everything um so that was it and then um uh, and then Brian Buru was my first birthday in Ireland that was 2016 too and again just like i'm having today uh, i'm still uh the work i do which is international sales uh there is a good part all the travels all the excitement it is a very exciting life but it's not safe the problem with the international business it's not safe it's like every time somebody has to pay you make a payment there's always all this 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 this, this drama and i had problems with brazil again brazil at, uh, hi brazil is like you don't know like is brazil has always been bad or brazil is so bad because they it's part of the culture it, it, it has to do with uh, uh the judaism because that's another topic too you can do a full video talking about this it's like because judaism they're traders they're like import and they they could do like a buy sell buy sell buy sell but they do not understand production so every time you do production or something and then they touch it it like you, they touch your business you need to really reorganize everything because they are buy sell buy sell buy sell buy sell and sometimes they just don't pay for anything if they can't not pay for anything they will because that's the best scenario you do not even need to pay because that's like a hundred percent discount but it's negotiation 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 and, uh, and and then a lot of times uh, brazil mexico california miami dublin now it goes back to all these confusions now it gets so complicated and then and then in the international that's a lot of jews a lot a lot of jews and then and then you need to be no it's just i'm just selling this from here there and then you're involved in all this negotiation and stuff and the payment does not come and you're like i just want my payment that's what i did the product's already there you just pay and let me go you know negotiation 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 and you like that's why so many people stay away from the international so many times because it's just so 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 exhausting and and but anyway so i was having all this problem this case was brazil was um was this girl she sent message you know bankers whatever so i was not really doing well but it was my birthday and then i was i moved to swords again why i moved to Swords? because i did not know dublin was so rough after the six months of all this romance about the Bryans and things and working still in the perfect location was by Dublin Four Courts. Dublin is still very central, was fun. But I it, that didn't make any sense to me uh the the housing in Dublin. I found it obnoxious and crazy. It's absolutely crazy. For office rents and for uh, residential rents. I found this absolutely crazy it's it's something that uh, a landlord will talk to you as uh, as he we your employer like you're working for him 
but he just owns the, the apartment. He's not your employer. It's just a residence, you know, like crazy stuff. And so on this, uh, I I end up moving to Salt, which was okay. Salt was already normal. Normal was just uh, it's the outskirts of Dublin, 2016. I heard now is everything's becoming just like Dublin. Cause Dublin's growing in, in people a lot. And uh, but 2016 was very fine. And then I, th but uh, I love cycling. And then I I I decided to uh, to on my birthday. I was like, it's my first birthday in Ireland. I'm going to buy my a bicycle and I'm going to cycle all of the way to Swords. <laughs> I did that, and I did not know much about Brian Boru at that time. You know, I just I did not. Okay, certainly I did not. As I go, I'm going to buy a bicycle. And I'm going to cycle all the way to Swords, <laughs> and I have my backpack, a jacket, my backpack, my computers, my stuff, my. Stuff. So I go at my birthday. I buy this bicycle. Very good bicycle, suspensions and stuff. All the equipment, the gloves, the helmet, the, the, the glasses, the whole thing. And I'm there. And then I put the GPS. And then I cycle to swords. Then when I cycle to swords, the GPS takes me to a route to swords. Because that took me like over an hour and a half total cycling. And uh, it was summer. or Yeah, because June is summer, so it was good weather. And so then I am uh, there. And there is like this... Half the way, there's the the Hennigans, is this pub, and there's this huge sign of Brian Boru, and it's Brian Boru with his horse. <laughs> so it's a sign. That's a big sign. That's Brian Boru. It's called the Brian Boru Pub, and there is this uh, with his horse. And I'm like, oh, that's Grandpa, <laughs> and I'm here doing the exact same thing. You know, like, like. 1,000 years later, here I am, crossing Ireland with a bicycle, facing the world, and there it was Brian Boru with the with his <laughs> with his uh, horse, you know, like, <sighs> like oh, it's just the same thing, like nothing changed, <laughs> like it's still the same people, you know, like I'm there. Okay, here I am with my cross, you know, to go all this way to swords and bicycle and stuff like that. So I, I I sit down there, I had I had dinner there and stuff, and then. And uh, carvings and all that, and then I go to swords, and you know that was cool. Uh, then uh, tour in Ireland was uh, when I have um, uh, visitors from the USA. Some friends from Las Vegas they came visit, and then I, we rent a car, and then we went to the uh, the banquet in in Limerick, and that's also the first castle of the Brian Boru. And I was there. I was like, this is great. I like. I really find that all great, fantastic. And I think everybody. That's maybe what. But those are all American tourists. All American tourists. We have a good time, and and then we we, 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 we go back to, to to America and stuff. So, uh, okay. So that's my my whole connection with Ireland. And uh, the other thing is then okay when I'm here and I learned I love the history because I do I do love everything. I like uh, the orange, the green, uh, the union between the north and the south. I just find it very problematic. Only what my problem with Ireland is that why things are so problematic. Things could be a bit more easy okay but they're very passionate somehow okay something that I do not like in Ireland is this thing about saying 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 and not doing you need to have a good balance between say and doing for example uh, there was a guy he lives not far from here about 20 minutes from here he wrote beautiful articles and uh, for uh, Irish history and stuff I told him to uh, come here to the office because he he made some work to me, he made some text to me like uh, there was a press release that I sent last last year and he made was a very good, but he never came he never came face to face and I have this office I said we can do the meeting so I tell you because I need to delegate so you do this you do this and we keep doing all the things and I and I'm paying it's not that I'm, it's not I pay him the three hundred euro for for his job and he was so happy about it. He never came to the office. And I'm in the city center in Belfast, it's a very easy location. He never came. Um, other cases like, there's several cases of this. I'm sorry if I just mentioned this one, but there's several, several cases. Uh, 
for uh, very clear tasks like if I'm I need to fix my bicycle and then I take the bicycle to fix the car too I, I, I just sold my car like a week ago but I had a car for three years here and it's no problem you get that done uh, still there is a problem in Ireland which is the emergency everybody wants to do things super fast and that happened to me one time with time with my bicycle that they just fix it so fast that, that like five minutes and they had a problem again need to turn, take it back or fix it fix it myself no one I fix it myself but like because they want to get to get rid of it so quick and then it's like no you haven't done that the bicycle is too broken you know like you should just change this and this okay so uh, but uh, so that's what I see in Ireland I see a lot of work uh, one of the fantasies I had before moving to Ireland was 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 that I, I, I it's also very weird I when on the, I told you about the uh, this plane right when I was flying this plane I thought it was a place to uh, realize I, I thought oh it's a place to die <laughs> I like to die in Ireland and then again um, that's one of the Irish says it's like uh let's die in ireland it's one of the warriors the celtic warriors they would say that like as a as a good wish for you to die in ireland because that means you go fight the war and then you come back and you die here that means you won you won the fight and then you're back and then you're going to die here not to die in a war overseas so you mean you won the war and then you come back and you die here okay so that that's what you mean so and uh, I, uh, so I have that 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 idea, and now this um, maybe um, spiritual connection, the whole thing, and uh, so uh, so going back now to uh, 2019, uh, first 2018, there was the inauguration day, Irish Times. Uh, I ended up being on the news, and I, I was very happy uh, that I was on the news. I, I explained all my cases and my stories, like why I was supporting Donald Trump and the whole thing. But then the Irish Times wrote this article, which I do not like, and it's still online for two years. I believe this article has caused me problems because everybody Googles, they find that, and then they put me on that um, category of people or uh, that the, 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 the bad names about this person. And that was nothing that I spoke. They just mentioned a couple of words about me, and they went all around um, some guys that were there that they gave false names, and then they put a picture of Trinity College. Like, it's a very poor article, and I'm not happy about it. And then I filed them a complaint about a few months ago. Uh, they answered to me saying, "No, it's not a defamation. It's not a slandering. Like, it's it's really bad. It's rough again." And so, uh, but that was then, then 2018, a lot of work. 2018, I was robbed in Ireland. I, it's, a, it's another story, you know, like I was robbed. Like I had this, um, this couple that they wanted to help me on my work, on my business, on this one. That's what they said. But at the time, as things are developing, I, it just ended up in another uh, crazy story. I was robbed. The Tala police is... is, is, is aware that police reports, American neighbors, like crazy stuff. I was really robbed, emails like, all over the place, crazy stuff. And I'm like, wow, that's rough. I was just doing simple things and stuff. And it's just like went down the hill like crazy. I took this guy to Thailand. I paid for his tickets and everything. And then it just went like crazy. Uh, I'm not, but then we keep, I keep working and getting all my things done. And then this year I joined uh, the protests and uh, uh, and uh, for Jemma's, Jemma's was doing her protests and all that. So I would be going to uh, her protests, and I went there because I am a member of the National Party. I go for three years now, since the, the almost the beginning, of the first meetings. I'm very impressed. That I'm still very impressed on the organization that the National Party does has. They have a very good organization and that gives me peace because in a country like Ireland with so much mess that's something that is organized and structured uh, I, be, I, be, I think it gives um, a direction to everybody that follows um, and, and, and that's very good that's very good uh, this direction this orientation because Ireland is very very lost what is right what is wrong it's, 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 I'm sorry but I'm talking 2019 okay and uh, so we, 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 I following them and then 
through them I heard that Gemma uh, was doing the protest. Oh, you're going, oh, what's going? So I go. Uh, and and uh, I really got uh, very into it. Like she, I saw her efforts that she was there and complained. And even before that, I voted for Gemma in the elections before uh, also. Uh, I was referred by the National Party to vote for her and then I vote for her. And then uh, I do not think she's perfect, but I do believe uh, she has a role by the fact that she's going to make everybody talk. Because the way the word is nowadays, Europe, is like everybody's is political correctness, but at the same time you have somebody hysterical who is screaming and yelling and that maybe these other people are going to have a reaction and try to answer because she does speak loud. I do not follow 100% the logic of all the things she say, but she's just really doing like a, 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 a spokesperson about so many uh, violence that that comes to her, and then she just does. He use, she uses her communication abilities to spread it out, and and uh, but then I was there, and then like um, helping, I got involved. And that was something that happened uh, in 2019. Uh, but again, why did I get involved? Because I have a lot of lawsuits. Okay, my 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 cases uh, from 2018 to now, uh, I keep growing. I sell more. Like my company is a permanent growth. Uh, I I am very popular since all my life, and on these international sales, I do sales like all my life big accounts I sell a lot and I always have this issue about receiving my commissions my payments because I'm I'm, 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 I'm the sales guy so at the end of the day a short version of what I do would be sales commissions so that means I'm the person who is doing right now I'm not selling anything this is just a talk uh, which I'm doing by a video to try to to make it uh, um, short for those who are interested or not uh, uh, but uh, uh, this is public, it's going to be just public my name there, everybody who wants to talk to me uh, to know what my story is this, and, uh, but in Ireland, and, uh, but um, uh, I, uh, my, my, my payments, like I live on commissions and I generate huge business, but huge, I don't sell uh, two bags of rice, I sell, I did sell one day as a sample, but I sell 1,000 bags, so that's like a $2 million business. So my businesses are of high magnitude. If somebody asks me to sell one car, I will kind of give it away like I did, like this this week. I sold it for so cheap because I know it was a good man and, and he, he was the mechanic and I gave him a very good deal and that it was sold straight away. But I sell 1,000 cars, 3,000 cars, I will sell it, okay? And that's because that's more my niche. Usually I do this uh, uh, high volume. And then there's all the commissions behind, there's all the complexity of the shipping, the, 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 the trade, uh, the banking, the accountants, the, so the, the legal documents that are associated with a, with a uh, business of higher magnitude. So, and they involve international. Sometimes you may say, oh, I want to make a, uh, a beer that's 100% Irish, but for some reason the crop is not good this year, so we will have to bring a, 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 some bags of a malt from other country. And then you say, is this beer Irish or it's not Irish anymore? Because now the, the malt, the, the cereal we used to, to, to brew, it's not Irish anymore. But that's like an okay. So all these things, they get part of ones to talk in bigger businesses. Because if you're just selling, uh, a beer at a pub, you would just sell a bottle and you say hello and this is a beer and smile and it's done. But once you sell selling an entire lot, once you're selling like a like an entire then you need to really go into more complex um, levels of negotiation and then you go into production, you go into into like a, a where where the um, the entire contract because you're talking about a project that may take two years, one year, three years and, and so 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 that's more what I do, okay? But my commissions are always more than ten thousand dollars. Now it's more than five thousand, then one hundred. So I have commissions of one hundred thousand dollars. Like I sold ten million dollars, and then is where it's then is like what's uh, what has happening to me.
because with all these things like the Irish Times writing uh, that I am um, um, a, a bad guy that I'm horrible and, and something that caused me problems because that's, that's something that I will try to be short and, and finish this video just make uh, a quick show about this it's uh, it's like a, it's this um, my lawsuits okay so they they are here and they keep they keep going okay Thailand Brazil USA this is the USA lawsuit, which is the one, the guy that owes me $100,000. It's $100,000. Uh, I'm, I'm selling Arab, uh, American cheese to Arabs, and they're in wars for like, for like, um, so long, and I am there selling the cheese. I'm successful. I do trade shows in Dubai and everything, and they don't pay my commissions. They don't pay my commission, so like, uh, so this is all here. You see, like, uh, it's all about the cheese. It's all documents, documents, and I keep preparing documents and sending documents. Then I'm very frustrated with uh, with the problem with the with the. Uh, um, see, this is all lawsuits too. So I'm very frustrated and I'm done. Look, if you see this, it's like I'm really done of, 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 of working with this because I'm done. It's really, it's really very, very exhausting. It's exhausting. It's like talking about uh, lawsuits over and over and over and over and over again and, 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 and attorneys and it's very annoying, but I'm going to explain this um, part of them now very quickly. <laughs> which I don't think I can do, <laughs> but I'll try, I'll try to do them quick. So these are like lawsuits, paperwork, lawsuits, a lot of paperwork, a lot of paperwork. So here is USA lottery, the first one, USA, Slate. There's another video there. I don't say this is my channel, I, it's, it's on YouTube. Uh, but I believe it's my contents, okay, that I create to YouTube. Um, so this is billiard pool tables. I sold 1.5 million dollars in 2008. Then when my company was robbed in in, in Dublin, uh, um, this contract went crazy. It's in the lawsuits. I spent hundreds of hours with attorneys and like courthouses and police reports and seven day demand letters i have this case is like i have like 10 about 10 different defendants which are presidential billiards american heritage uh group of minar brazil uh creative solutions of wisconsin uh Chateau valley family leisure they all robbed all my businesses they just cut me i was called cut me off it's like a slang but it's a stealing and i'm still like it's on, on court for like for over one year now and i'm just asking them to pay my commissions i'm, I'm not even I'm, I'm, I'm being very generous as some attorneys say because i'm just asking for them to pay me and let me go and they don't do even that and then cheese is another one i sold like 10 million dollars of cheese this is advertising it's in a magazine in in uh in dubai and i uh it's there in the magazine, I sell this cheese or something. They have to pay $100,000, all the paperwork, a lot of tourists and the whole thing. It's like, what is this? I have two companies, a company in Florida, one company in, in the USA, one company in, 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 um, in uh, USA, in Ireland. And I, I do everything. I pay rent, I pay tax, I pay this, I pay this. And I'm like... Where is my payment? I want my payment. These people are stealing. These people are defrauding. These people are lying. Where is my safety? Where is the government? Where is this? Where is the state? That's my questioning now. That's why uh, I joined uh, the the protests and everything because I was like, why? Uh, what is the security? What's the police doing? So on that I have a lot of uh, uh, agreements. Uh, 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 points in common with uh, Gemma's and the, all the girls, mostly girls that they were complaining there, uh, and everybody would go there. Because I'll see there, like all their complaints and stuff. Like, I'm on the same position with them because they are against Google. Like, and then I go, like, well, 
they also have to pay, which is my lawsuits against the media, because I have, uh, these are suppliers of my products, but then there's also the contents, and, and the, unfortunately it got worse, it got worse, like I have, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm putting all my lawsuits together, and, I'm, I, and it, it just got worse, you know, like this is like Facebook, Facebook received my communications, I sent legal documents to Facebook, I understand that a lot of businessmen that make like millions a year, so uh, gross, okay, gross, okay, not net. And I, I, I can enjoy the benefits of my own work. I'm popular and successful, I have my business, I hire, pay, I pay, pay, like I do everything, check, 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 and like, wait, 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 where is my result? No, there's no results, now we want more. You know, now like, and then I, and then um, that's why I'm saying because sometimes you need to show the documents, okay? So this is the Irish Times folder, okay? So I'm just saying because um, because there is this problem that, um, that that a lot of people they say everything is a lie, whatever. No, I'm just saying things that they're real. So of course the response, he says, oh, I refer the documentation. Uh, the article is not defamatory, so he's just stating that, which is just, who are you? I, I'm the subject. Uh, this article was about myself. It was, I, I was, I was the one interviewed. I was the one who had that campaign. I was the one, so, so how come uh, there is a newspaper who tells me, uh, who is me? <laughs> you know, uh, but at the same time, that, that happened to me, like, uh, it's like, like why you know I like, know oh, you this 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 and I write this whatever I want and I'm saying something different and then you're like you just say whatever you want you know like it's, it doesn't make any sense like is this this is not civilization this is just rough going again this is not civilization this is rough okay and then I have these cases uh, against the social media I believe uh, I, everybody saw that I, I, I am being monitored uh, monitored uh, on, on social media and that causes a bit of confusion because people think that it is because of uh, of uh, polit politics it's not it's because of money okay it's because because of payment because they have to pay so as they have to pay uh, uh, then it's the defense attorneys it's the word uh, that we live today uh, that's how things are unfortunately being conducted today and that's why it's a bit um, complicated because uh, we try to uh, again we, we try to solve problems and they, they just got complicated so this is the the invoice is passed to you which is my general statement for social media companies which is also another another problem legal legal problem that I want to get my, my payments. It's all about payments. Mm -hmm. It's more commercial law. It's commercial law. Because if you if you do commercial law, you need to be on track with a lot of things. And and, and that's also there's all, all other videos there on on on, on, on my, my channel. Let's say the words everybody's saying, my channel, but um so they're more about the lawsuits I have. They are already being placed on court and everything, and then I'm 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 waiting for them. But then we go back to why I joined the protest because I'm like, why, you know, you 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 complain, you file, you explain, you do, and where are the attorneys? Where is the police officers? Why are they like, uh, I'm not happy with the service. Uh, I'm not happy with the service because I need the service and it's just not working. So that's also part of uh, uh, of uh, things that we need to organize. And uh, but then again, uh, the things we need to organize uh, it's on a structural level. Okay, it's like I every meetings we ha I have had um, this past two years, especially in Ireland, it became more serious. Uh, I do appreciate absolutely everybody I spoke to and um it's it's how to organize and that's why i offer a my structure to organize and then we have results that are good for everybody that everybody's happy it's the same cliche as always things that everybody likes that, that work that they are commercial uh one thing that i do being commercial i do the interface with a project and a reality okay so that's what commercial do I'm not promotion, I'm not publicity, I'm not advertising. 
I am commercial. Commerce. Commerce means I have the project of making a black cup. I'm the one who's going to make people use that black cup. Uh, and but to make people use that cup, there's a lot of elements behind that. It's not only uh, making them use the black cup. It's like, do they need the cup or not? How much does that cost? What did they use? So there's a study. So that's more my work, and I am very successful uh, on the on results and everything. Um, the lack of success that I have is related to security. And this security is what I'm complaining, and I'm complaining to the Congress, to the American Congress. They receive my letters and my complaints because everything that's happening here in Ireland and in Florida, in my person, I prepare beautiful packages with documents and everything, and I mail this to the senators in America. I mail, I received the letter from the Department of Trade Commission in Washington that they do. They filed my entire case, they are, they are studying, and they, they forwarded all my documentation to authorities, okay, with me, like FBI, CIA, uh, and other, like there's so many different um, branches. Some are, are associated with the security for uh, American multinationals, because Americans, we are like all over the world. And I say Americans because I have a company in the USA. So it is a huge country, and we are with the business all over the world. So. So, so you you have that. I'm just saying this because Ireland is a small country. So sometimes you do not understand the differences between a small country and a big country. And America's 300 million people is like a, I don't know, like 20 trillion dollar economy. Okay, so it's, it's huge. So we do have more uh, services. And I'm not saying that's better or worse, but that's just how it is because it's big. Even countries like Brazil, they're so big that they do have a lot, a huge structure for a lot of things. So, because of that, uh, there is a lot. So there is uh, polices that they help uh, businessmen, that they help uh, the. There is a uh, one section was for American multinationals. So, so we have all that. So I do not that they're not that bit messy. Okay, that's not that you're saying wow it's perfect and everything. But I'm in a position to complain. Because I'm like in my cases in Thailand, for example, I like why there is even the the Thai American tax agreement. There is the uh, uh, no visas for Europeans. You don't need a visa to go to Thailand on a business trip. All my documents, all my life is everything is, ba is black and white. It says that business trip, business trip Thailand, and uh, and then I'm doing business stuff and I'm not backed. Uh, I'm not. I don't have the the, the, the safety I need. Uh, you know, like the problem now with uh, with uh, with the social media. You know, that's all the all the scandals that are coming from Washington, like a, why, what, that they were selling private data to everybody. They, you know, there is this market of human data. Uh, we're not getting paid for anything. That's something that my 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 my, my question is like, what's going on this past 20 years? Uh, which is another topic. Okay, which is. Uh, it's been 20 years of deep recession, 20 years, okay, from 2000 here to 2020, 20 years of deep recession. So we got used to recession, but we live in recession times and for two decades. And, and that has shaped a lot of behaviors and things that we kind of get, got used to be used. <laughs> so like, oh, I'm, like I'm, I'm creating this video now to YouTube, right? Maybe or not. Now that I said that, maybe a defense attorney is going to say YouTube does not have to pay me because uh, I did this because I wanted to. But then it's like, I don't know. I'm 43 and I believe uh, if uh, somebody 43 years old doing what I do in the 90s would be already a millionaire. And maybe I'll be doing this on uh, on CBS or on on RTE or any BBC or Global Brazil, like I'll be doing this and I'll be getting my $5,000 um, payment for, for this video or I'll be doing, you know, it was a different world. Now I'm, I'm recording, I'm doing the scenario, I'm paying the rent, I have the equipment, I'm uploading it. I will put there that no, it's okay for, it's not okay for children because I don't think it's okay for children. No. And, and then I will upload and then 
this is going to be there and then that's my case with Facebook Facebook just suspended my account uh, about two months ago based this is what they're doing uh, they have their my impression okay that they had these bodyguards that work for for the Zuckerberg so for some reason this is what they do these bodyguards they have accounts in Facebook and they file complaints against you so then Facebook answers suspending your account based on the bodyguards complaining against you so that's that's their, their, it's not that Facebook suspended your account is because they had complaints and these complaints you know they they go that's that's what I understood is the game they are playing but again it's out it's not it's out of the law it's not it's not proper that's that's a, against the law and uh, and then it's like then it's why not where are the attorneys where are the legislators what, what are they doing because you read the news and you see like all they talk is about vulture phones about and they don't talk about the real problems that everybody's complaining about you know you have you have big corporations that they're just like Facebook and Google. They, they don't pay for anything. They don't pay for contents. They don't pay. They don't pay for um, copy. They don't respect copyrights because if uh, by the time so Facebook suspended my account, and that's what. And they were serviced with my documentation. It's not. It's not that I'm just saying this to you. I'm just saying, I I did like the three months. We won the tourney. I went to Facebook. We won the tourney, and I uh, and I sent them my invoices and my request my official request with my signature and witnesses and that was even face to face in google and facebook saying please return my contents it's 11 years of work photographs videos personal like no response then they monitor my new account they put monitoring whatever like it just does not make any sense where is the state because that's not I still, as a businessman, the same way as, as Mark Zuckerberg is a businessman, I understand, okay, this is business, this is business, but I am somebody conservative, I would say, because I follow the laws. I follow the law. It says not allowed, I'm not doing it. It says it's allowed, I'm doing it. For example, I'm here in this office because I'm allowed to be here on Sunday, and it's, it's, it's about 7.30, so I'm allowed to to be so I'm here if it was said uh, no it's not allowed to be on Sundays I wouldn't just think about it I would just go I follow I just follow the rules and then I'm following the rules and, I, and I'm not getting any then I like okay I'm following the, that person is not following the rules so I understand I'm in a better position because this is what happened but it's like I'm following the rules that person is not following the rules and and then you like who to talk to I am interviewing attorneys for one year and a half and the more I try to, to, like, it's not really in good shape, the legal system. It's not. The legal system is not. I, I say it's broke. Uh, the banking system is broke. And, and there is problems that they come from this. But I'll, I, I, my understanding is that this deep recession we live are primarily because the banking system is broke by brokers. And the legal system is broke by brokers. Anything else, they kind of go around those two pillars of society. Because nowadays, you can't exist without a banker being involved. You can't. It just does not exist. Uh, you can't. I can't say to. It, it's just as not. It's the society as it is nowadays. So if I want to buy an apartment, I can't just say. I have five cars in this apartment. I tell the guy who's selling the the, uh, the apartment. I'll say, look, I have five cars here, uh, so just take these cars and I get this or something. I can't do just an agreement, okay? Because that would be the agreement. But then I will have to go to the legal and to the banking system to make that viable and civilized and organized in the complexity of the society we live nowadays so I'll need to really put that together and then I'll lie. there will be a contract there will be the notarization that would be the copies that would be the the legalization of the contract that would be the jurisdiction of where this is happening where this is not happening that would be then that would be the, the banking aspect of it because we're going to have to monetize because if you just seize the car and I the, the, this apartment, 
then there would be an economic uh, banking uh, agreement that has to be done where these uh, five cars they need to be converted into some sort of currency that this currency is going to be converted into the currency that's going to be the part you know so so this currency and these objects move then there will be always this banking and this legal system but I believe this was functional for so many years but now uh, it's not crazy because we have recession and we have depression too because a lot of people had depression they're not they're just tired they don't want to do anything and then and the families in Europe in Ireland they are very well solid uh, I, I see that European families are one of the most solid in the whole world I find the father the mom the children the cousins the grandpa the, the very strong uh, that's why overseas we also still relate to Europe because that goes overseas other countries that are more flexible like Africa or the USA for example families are very liquid a lot of times they but in, 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 the, in, in Europe is very solid and I appreciate that a lot and then I think this is what gives this general stability but that's more of a personal personal uh, the things we're talking here are more like civil stuff is when you go outside this family uh, nucleus and then you go into society and then for example uh, this um, person that I'll be buying this uh, apartment from and paying with cars uh, I may just know this person for this transaction I may become friends with them or maybe my daughter b w will marry his uh, uncle or something but but that's more of different stuff but in that particular uh, situation maybe I will never see them again or maybe you know maybe a lot of times uh, uh, people die maybe he just dies that, that happens you know we all can die at some point <laughs> you know like and so uh but then it's when you need the civil you need the legal you need the banking you need to, to give safety both institutions legal and banker banking are related to uh safety protection what's a bank it's a bank is where you leave something stored and it's protected and safe so that you can use it at some point and go back and it's going to be there uh, legal system is the one that protects it that is going to to happen but uh, nowadays we are, that's not really working that way it's going way too complex way too complicated that at some point those things are moving in their own world and they're not connected to anything and then anybody else is just trying to stay away from them and see how to survive without them and and there's this, this split and then it's going to all these random and all these complaints that you see I'm just explaining the general view so everybody can that follows this can understand the personal problem that comes from that like uh, the most famous one is the homeless in the Dublin like there's a homeless here there's an empty house there and why it's going so complicated there's the banking because it's not turning there's the legal there's the paperwork there's the visa there's the, you know like there's so many bureaucracy behind it that it is not and then a refugee from Somalia is going to come and have his house serviced and you're like what is that connection there's somebody here that is a house and there's a house here and then we bring in somebody from all across the globe and he's going to be here and not this person who is just like uh, two meters away you know like, so so that's 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 why because there is this normal uh, brokerage banking and legal world that does not connect to reality they probably they are just in their computers that are sometimes in Berlin not even in Ireland you know you know the computer <laughs> yes the computer here <laughs> that's the computer and uh, the other computer here like so they'll be like i think no, no, no. okay pick press enter okay no, i i just wish you 20 i just printed 10 10 10 um uh, tickets from somalia to dublin and then somebody is there and there's like you know and this it is totally out of the reality you know what i'm saying and uh and i see that with my it is again with the drinking driving uh that i had last year uh, uh i i feel totally uh 
compassion. I know the police officers. I respect the police officers a lot. I saw uh, on that day, I was the only person in that station. I was in Irish town. Uh, there were about 10 or I would say 12 uh, police officers, uh, the Gardaí in, in, from Ireland. And, and, and I'm there <laughs> with the uh, drinking driving, like I said, a typical Irish situation, you know, like the drinking driving, the alcohol, the pub, the Irish town, the pub, you know. But anyways, was very, was very uh, friendly, okay, I was not, uh, but then there's the, the police report when she mentions that I, this, 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 like I was like, wow, there's like a, a, a lot of gift, gift of the gap to explain that that she was right and I was wrong uh, but still I was never ever co contesting the results and the loss so the law said that more than 44 is is already a problem uh, and I had a uh, 43 or 42 and I was 44 it was like two two milligrams more of, of alcohol in my blood and and uh, but then they go the whole thing and then I go but then uh, but then I disagree on how there would be the whole complexity of everything and how they'll be talking about myself and then I'll go to the courthouse and then I'll be at the center of this conversation but still uh, it was way too far from the reality like I that damaged my business a lot because I had to travel I had to work I got to get my problems solved I had to have solutions I had to work and then I have this uh, um, to go back there and go back there and I was like I'm not questioning the the punishment uh, I'm questioning the, the method I'm like wh why so much effort on this why, why 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 for so long okay so so okay and the same thing in Italy okay I voted for Salvini in Italy uh, again I also offered him my services of uh, um, I also to national party I did uh, to to help um, because I am Italian so I offered uh, like uh, to do uh, promotion and, 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 and marketing and sales and um, they never called me I did that to Trump too when I was supporting Donald Trump I offered to them also but th but they didn't so but I, I still do my work and I still um, if, if there's one thing that I really wanted to get solved as soon as possible is this problem with the banking and the legal system so I can move forward because I have uh, my lawsuits that are worth about four hundred thousand dollars I'm sorry mentioning prices because it's a it's an American thing that we have to mention values uh, which is I know it's gross but I'm just explaining because it's like that's a four hundred thousand dollars in lawsuits uh, I have a ten twenty million dollar uh, business I make three maybe 30 million dollar food business global I have my own brands I do the packaging I do I do the, 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 the artwork I do the drawing different languages this is me at a rice meal you see this is me yeah I still look alike and this is me it's a, all this rice all this rice you see here all this rice is now is now my product there's a con a truck there a container as mean this is going to be shipped to Africa from South America to Africa this was the Florida rice you see Florida you see the, the all the bags all these bags it's all me oh it's like a, this factory is the entire factory full of all Ellie group products and and then like I and I keep receiving orders and I have uh, I spoke to a client today he wants to buy 2.5 million dollars of uh, tuna and I'm like I have this business and I'm like, but what structure can I offer? Like, why, why there's not a lot of guys working uh, tonight? Like, why I'm here by myself? There's all these stations. Look, all there's all these stations here in this office. Like, there will be at least four guys here answering the calls, answering emails, and, and moving forward, getting the pay. Why that's not happening? Like, why, uh, why I have I have right now about uh, sixty thousand euro in in loan to in my name. Uh, it was a hundred thousand euro was wired to my company in Ireland. That was uh, December one year ago. It's been one full year, and I'm like through accountants and legal and 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 and, and bankers. Like, what's the problem? Why, why does this just not moving forward? And why instead of doing this normal, uh, traditional and basic uh, op operations, we we we're discussing like. Okay, 
random stuff, like like crazy stuff that like that you like uh, crazy stuff. And I've been to politics. I've been this is how I'm going to finish this video now. It's over two hours. This is the record, it's the longest video I've done. But politics. I love politics. I love talking. Love people all my life. Okay, I always had that. I I I, I the politics. Uh, I follow smaller parties because I believe the big.